I think that verse two really is the clincher of the whole thing. God has consigned all Jews and Gentiles to disobedience that he may have mercy on all Jews and Gentiles. And Paul is explaining how exactly God is bringing that about, mm. having mercy on all. Uh, but just as I noted earlier, the, you know, the phrase that we, um, that the debate here in terms of the interpretation of this passage centers around is that phrase in verse 26 where Paul says that all Israel will be saved, what specifically is meant by all Israel. Oh, yeah. Right. That And that, that definitely is, is right at the heart of it. Who is all Israel, and, and what does it mean for all Israel to be saved? I mean, it even, uh, I don't want to jump the gun too much, but it even speaks about Paul making some jealous and thus save some of them. So some people, I'm sure, have have wondered why he's speaking there and not and thus save all all of them. But um, what are some of the different approaches here? You, you mentioned O. Palmer Robertson, and he had five views that he describes. What are those views? What's the survey of the landscape in terms of views? And and where might we find these views? Are these dispensationalists and evangelicals and then reform people? I'm curious to know what the views are, and then what might we find within a confessional reformed church, for example? Yes, very good. Uh, Robertson says in the uh, chapter I mentioned earlier uh, that there are five views uh, with regard to the interpretation of all Israel. The first two, as far as I know, are not very popular, certainly not within the Reformed Church, but the last three are pretty common within the Reformed Church and even within our tradition, even within the Orthodox Presbyterian Church, you will find uh, men who hold to one of those three last views. So uh, Robertson summarizes them very briefly. Um, The first view is that all Israel means all ethnic descendants of Abraham. Mm -hmm. The second one is that all Israel means all ethnic descendants of Abraham living when God initiates a special working among among the Jewish people. So it's still that view, the second view, would confine all Israel to a specific period of time, say a generation. Or yeah, at the end times. Or the, so that view would say that if you, if a person was an ethnic Jew and died in unbelief prior to the, some future mass conversion of the Jews, then that person would not, would not be saved. Correct. Yes. According to verse two, or right. not verse two, but the second view, sorry. Yeah, right. Uh, but, but according to the first view, that's not, that's not the case. The first view is that all ethnic descendants yeah, of Abraham period. will be saved without exception, period. period. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second view, all, means all, every single one mm-hmm. uh, of the ethnic des- descendants of Abraham living at a particular time in history will be saved. Now, again, as I said earlier, those first two views um, are not at all common in the Reformed Church. I believe that you can find uh, some evangelical dispensationalist who would advocate the second view. Oh, um, sure. Yeah, yeah, I think that's probably common mm-hmm. among dispensationalists, and it's been it's been a long time since I've studied dispensationalism. I at one time was a dispensationalist before I came into the Reformed Church, and uh, we all know that there are different, there's a variety of views within dispensationalism. Dr. Mm-hmm. Byrne Poitras, for example, wrote a book uh, many years ago entitled Understanding Dispensationalism at the time when dispensationalism was being modified. So he talked about, you know, different modified views of dispensationalism there. Mm. But the last three views, if I can mention them, uh, Robertson says uh, that according to the third view, all Israel means the mass or at least the majority of Jews living at the time of a special saving activity of God. That's probably more similar to what I just mentioned. So two would be different from three. Yeah. Yes, two is different from three Mm -hmm. in that all doesn't mean all without exception. I got you. Yeah. Uh, Four is all elect Israelites within the community of Israel. Mm Mm-hmm. So the elect and only the elect within Israel. And number five is that all Israel refers to both Jews and Gentiles who together constitute the Church of Christ to be Israel of God. Mm. 